This easy to follow video will cover your initial installation and commission of the obvious data acquisition server, the AquaSuite. The AquaSuite acts as a platform to allow users to easily monitor and measure various energy meters and sensors. Let's first go through our checklist of items required for installation. You'll need an ethernet cable, power supply for powering the device, and a flathead screwdriver. There are two options to choose from when installing the AquaSuite server, accessing AquaSuite with a laptop or accessing AquaSuite through a local area connection. You'll first need to connect the ethernet cable to your laptop and the ethernet port on the left side of the AquaSuite board. Once connected, start up your laptop and access the network connections option from the control panel. Once network connections have been opened, access the properties menu by right-clicking on the local area connection. Open Internet Protocol. Check Use the following IP address and enter an IP address of 192.168.40.51. Then click OK on each of the open dialog boxes. Once the laptop is configured, you'll be able to use any internet browser to access the AquaSuite. Open your preferred browser and enter the following default IP address into the URL bar, 192.168.40.50, then click Enter. You'll first need to connect one side of your Ethernet cable to an active LAN port and the other to the Ethernet port on the left side of the AquaSuite board. We'll use the menu and select buttons to change the unit's default IP address. Press the menu button until the LCD screen displays TCP IP config. Then press select. The LCD screen will prompt you to enable DHCP. Press select, then press the menu button until the previous menu is displayed. Press select. The oxy will then prompt you to reboot the unit to ensure the changes are applied. Again, press select. Upon reboot, the LCD will display the newly obtained IP address from the DHCP server. Enter this IP address into the URL bar and click Enter. At this point, whether using option 1 or 2, users can enter the IP address displayed on the LCD screen into the browser of their choice. Once connectivity with the AquaSuite has been established, you'll be prompted to enter your login and password. The default login and password shipped with the AquaSuite unit is admin. The next step is to begin adding Modbus devices to the network. Click on Device List. The following screen will show devices that have been connected to an AquaSuite. In this example, an obvious FlexIO module has been added to the AquaSuite. For the AquaSuite unit to begin logging data, you must name all the connected devices. To do so, click on the listed device and provide a unique name for the particular meter or sensor. You have now installed your AquaSuite server and are logging data from your connected devices. This now concludes the installation and commission of your AquaSuite. As we continue this series, we'll explore how you can use Modhoppers to transmit and receive wireless data, incorporating multiple Modbus devices onto a single network, and an overview of the entire AquaSuite system as a whole. Thank you for your interest in Obvious Hardware. For any questions or inquiries, please contact Obvious Sales.